Hi, welcome. I'm Eddie. Now, is the movie Matrix Buddhist? Yes, yes, and a yes. Now, before I go any further, I'm just someone interested in Buddhism. And so what I present here are just from my limited knowledge, my opinion, and maybe some opinions from my friends. So my friends and I decided to discuss how Buddhist is the movie Matrix. Now, I don't think I need to explain the plot as I think everyone knows. But I think you're probably thinking the movie is Buddhist as you're watching this video. So what are some of the points that struck me that this movie is Buddhist? The first and the most obvious is the whole premise of The Matrix. It's a made up reality. As real as it is, it is not real. But it is real for those experiencing it. And yet it's not. So, what a conundrum. Hence the movie Matrix, or the Matrix is like us experiencing our lives in samsara. Now in the movie, only those who truly are ready leaves the Matrix. Similarly, Buddhism is not for everyone. Now, as a Buddhist practitioner, you know about the Four Noble Truth and you try to apply the Eightfold Path in your life, so you can eventually escape the samsara, or at least accept it in such a way that it's like an escape. So that's blazingly obvious. Now, the next thing that struck me actually occurred very early in the movie, and that's when Neo meets Trinity in the club. And in their exchange, what is the Matrix? So this question after watching the movie after like so many times reminds me of the Huato practice. Huato is a Zen practice while many associate this with Rinzai, but I believe it's both Soto and Rinzai. Now loosely interpreted Huato practice is like a derivative of a koan practice. Huato often involves a repetitive question sometimes derived from a short phrase from a koan, but not always. So for example, what is Buddha nature? What is emptiness? Who is meditating? Etc. Etc. Hence, when I heard what is the matrix, it reminded me of the Huato practice. Now, to better uh, explain Huato practice, I'm going to reference a, uh, a passage by Master Sun Yen. The book is called Shattering the Great Doubt. And you can see. Um, the first highlight. To practice Huato, the practitioner recites the sentence or fragment of one in questioning manner, but without theorizing or analyzing in order to find an answer. Now we go to the last sentence. In practice, you must abandon concepts, knowledge, and previous experience until the Huato becomes the only thing in your mind. And you must eventually smash through the Huato itself. Brad Pill, anyone? And now to the last point that I found was very Buddhist. And that is actually um, toward the last part of the film. When Neo gets shot multiple times by Smith, Agent Smith. He dies, but he lives again. But when he lives, or he gets up, he looks and all he sees are codes. And this reminds me of what a Zen teacher had taught about mind-making distinctions. 
which creates mental formations. And by the way, that Zen teacher is Master Guoxing from Dharma Drum Mountain. Anyways, I think it's probably better if I were to reference the text again, as that will explain better. So this text is from the Shurangama Sutra. And you can see the highlight, it says, Your knowledge of light and dark is an activity of your mind. Your visual awareness sees everything impartially without making any distinction. The act of seeing is simply to see. The distinctions you make are made by your distinction-making mind. Seeing things as is. Fascinating, isn't it? Well, you can also think about this in terms of a digital camera capturing pixels of data on the camera sensor while they just capture it. When we see it, we say, oh, look at that beautiful landscape shot or um, nice flowers or cute dogs or cats. So you can see that we're making distinctions. Now, everything I presented here are from my personal opinion and maybe some from my friends. And we definitely think this movie is very Buddhist. And you may or may not agree. Of course, we're all at different places on our path. So you may not agree with the points that we brought up. What did you think were points that you thought the movie made it more like Buddhist movie? Anyways, thank you for watching.